discussing. Trump shared a fake image. Oh, oh man, I didn't put the link. I just got an email about this. Didn't put the link. Oh, man. Whatever. Fake image of Harris speaking at a communist event. All right, let me let me find this thing. Trump share Let's See. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. I mean, does anyone think she would actually go to an event like that? Well, first of all, yeah, this this is what I said actually in the piece, right? Um, one, lots of people will believe it's real. And two, current tech can already make more believable ones than this. So this isn't the actual problem. The actual problem is when it gets much worse. Um, oh, here's the other one that they were sharing. Uh, watch this one. Trump share Taylor Swift should be enough, right? No links. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. So we've been talking about for years. I, I went looking for this post where I first started talking about this. I couldn't find it. So Beehive, fix your search, please. Uh, couldn't find it with Google either. So that kind of annoying. Anyway, I wrote about basically deep fakes becoming an issue because we're not going to be able to believe things. It's so obvious now it's not even a good post, but it was very early. This was like two years ago. Um, I was talking about this. Um, but anyway, everyone knows now, uh, and here is the actual, it's just now starting to matter. Okay, look at this picture, the top right one. That looks like an actual like event. This person's got his phone, he's got his foot sticking out. That looks super real, super real. Swifties for Trump. Now, you know what would be funny is if that was... <laughs> If that was was actually real, like some, okay, the bottom left, definitely not real. Okay. I, it, they're probably, none of these are probably real, J just to be very clear about, you know, disinformation or whatever. But um, the point is you can make these, oh yeah, this bottom right one also looks super real. The bottom left one does not because that Swifties for Trump looks like too clear, like the white of the text just looks a little bit too artificial. But this one, Swifties for Trump, it's got shadow on it. The T is hidden because it's on the other side of her body. So that one looks real. It's actually the same person as this. Honestly, these two look really, really good. That, that would trick basically anybody, uh, including me right now. So... The point is, these are getting so good that you can't tell the difference between reality. And doesn't really matter for this right now. Um, this one uh, maybe kind of does. The, the question is, what happens when it's a thing that really matters? Like, did a crime actually occur? Um, who is the assailant? Uh, evidence of something bad happening where, where we're going to use pictures or video as part of the evidence for that crime. That's when it starts to really, really matter. And also for politics as well. Um, the, the worst possible one is, is like, the absolute worst one is where you have um, a video of Trump saying, you know, it, it looks like we're gonna have to attack Russia. Preemptive nuclear strike. And it's very believable. And it freaks somebody out and that person freaks out Putin and it, something goes off or something similar to that. Maybe it's not a nuclear war, but something where there's an actual threat being made and it causes the other person to respond. So it's it's a trigger point for kinetic action. That that That's pretty serious. And we have the tech now 
to be able to do that. Um, not everyone could do it, but it, it's getting pretty close. And it's much easier to do with images than it is for video. But the point is, this is getting very, very real. No longer 